NKC Art. In order to make your line birds, you can find something circle um, to trace and use a pencil. I'm going to use Sharpie today because I want it to show up on the projector for my students. But always draw in pencil first and then you can outline it in black marker or Sharpie later. So I'm going to set my first circle way up here in the corner so I have lots of room for my other birds and for their line legs to go down the page. So I'm going to do three on the top and just kind of leave a little space in between, um, maybe out two or three fingers or so. Um, that way you'll be able to put their beaks and tails on. And so I'm just going to go in a row and put three different circles and trace them around. Again, you're doing this in pencil. Please trace in pencil. And then you can use your Sharpie when you're all done to outline it. I even left some room right here on the side, on the right-hand side, just because my other birds on the bottom are going to kind of go in between the top birds to kind of give them a little bit of room for their legs to come down because they're going to have really long legs with different kind of lines um, stretching from the bird to the bottom of the paper. So I'm going to just try to leave a little room for that. I can kind of, kind of squeeze my last circle in here. That bird's legs may have to go behind this bird when I go to draw them, but that's okay. We can do that. After I get all my birds drawn, uh, I'm going to go butt through and add beaks to them. So I'm just going to add a beak to different sides of my bird so they're all facing different directions. Um, kind of place them wherever you'd like to. Once you get their beaks on, you can go back in and add some wings to them and some eyeballs on your different birds. Um, their wings and eyes, they can, I, sometimes I put two wings, sometimes one wing, like they're turned a little bit. It's just kind of up to you how you want to do your birds. When I'm done with that, I'm going to give them some foofy little tails, maybe some little curly lines up in their tails sticking out. Um, just kind of however you'd like to do your tails is just fine. When I'm done with that, I'm going to decide what kind of lines I want to use for their legs. So this one I might use like long zigzags and then put his little feet at the bottom, just like three little lines, like a little fork at the bottom. So he's got long zigzag legs. I think this one's going to have kind of like a weird square type zigzag, um, almost like a castle. On this one I'm going to use some big wavy lines and some little tiny curly wavy lines. And then maybe some spirals for this long leg guy and then some straight legs for that guy. When you're all done, you're going to take a crayon out of your bag. Don't dump them out. Just take out whatever crayon you need. Put it back in there and then get the next one. That way you don't have a big mess to clean up. And I'm just going to go back in and color my birds. Once you're all done with this, um, make sure you take a picture of it and upload it to Canvas for me so I can check it out. So I'm just kind of speeding this up, trying to finish coloring in my birds to show you what it looks like when you're all finished. My last bird here. And this is about what your page should look like.